Google has a service available for all of our staff called New Google Sites that makes it real easy to, to make and publish a website. And while it's called New Google Sites, uh, it's not all that new. It's been around for years. I'm going to talk about that for you today. are simply just websites. It's an easy format, uh, just drag and drop. You can throw text, pictures, uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets. So you can throw other files out there as well. Um, you can create pages. You can organize your content. It's just an easy way to make and publish a website that you can access from anywhere. So uh, let's dive into what that looks like. Uh, to get started, you need to find the place to go work on a Google site. So I'm going to show you two ways to get there. One, uh, the nine dots up in the upper right hand corner when you're logged into Google. If you click on that, sites is one of the options. Now if you go this route, you're going to have to pay attention. Uh, this is really the interface for the old version of Google Sites. So over here you see an option that says new Google Sites. The other way, which I think is a bit easier actually, is when you're in my drive, when Google Drive over here, click on new where you would normally do a new file or a new folder. Click on more and you'll find Google Sites right here. So you click on create new Google Site and that's going to pop up a new Google Site for you. So here we go. Here's a nice blank Google, Google website. Um, we want to put some stuff out here. So we can title this website. Um, we are going to just call this a, a demo website. Um, so that we can put any kind of content out here that we want that copies it down to the site name and for the page title I'm going to give this the same page title um, for because this will be the landing page for anyone that comes to the website and then we can do lots of different things down here so we can add text over on the right hand side you'll see insert um, and then the options for text images for files from drive so I'm going to do a text box I can put in here, welcome to my website, you know, keep it really simple. Um, you get the same kind of formatting options that you would normally have inside of a word editor. So you can do bold italics, you can um, highlight and then link text to other pages, um, however you want to do that. Uh, you can also insert an image. So let's click on images. We can upload something from this computer here. So I could just go to my, my pictures and I'll... Uh, have nothing to work with. <coughs> okay, so I've got some text on there. Now uh, I want to add a picture. Uh, there's a couple ways that I can do that. I can click over here on images or over here in the empty space where I want to add a picture. I, I can just double click and it gives me kind of my quick pop-up here so I can select images when I do that if I know the the image is out on a website already and I have the URL for that I could drop it in here I can search for something and this is going to search Google images and I could just say uh, dog here and it'll bring up pictures of dogs that I could insert I can also pick something from one of my albums so we've got pictures here from from my gmail signature these are any pictures that are in my google photos account so i could pick something from there or i could select something from my drive so i click on that and i can browse around the folders of my drive so for now for today's purposes i'm just going to select a random picture of a dog here and insert him and you'll see that there, there's the picture that i selected i can resize that uh, however i want to format I can move that around on the page if I want it more centered. Uh, I can make it a link where if I click on this picture, it'll link me to another website or page. I can also crop here. So if I wanted to take out just parts of this image, I can do that pretty easily with the, the slider bar right here and sit, hit check and there I've cropped my image. So that is how to insert an image. Uh, I can also upload uh, files. So if I've got a Word document or uh, an Excel document, something that I would want to upload, I could do that from here. Um, I can also pull files from my drive. So in this case, uh, I'm going to say this is a math website, right? So I've got, uh, I've got a math worksheet that I want to share out on my website. So I'm just going to select that from my Google Drive. And here I've embedded that file. So you can see that file without the need to even open up that, that Google document. Um, now there is one caveat here that I need to say. If this is going to be a public website and you want everyone to be able to access it, any content that you show out here 
has to be publicly available. So this Google Doc, for example, this math worksheet, if I come over here to my Google Drive, I look in math, here's my math worksheet that I just inserted. Now, if I open it and look at the sharing, I am going to find that this is not shared with anyone yet. In order for this to actually be available for others that come visit my website, I need to make sure that it's available for others to see. So I'm going into the advanced settings of sharing. And you can see this right now is private and I'm the only one that can see it. I'm going to change this so that anyone with the link can see this file or even easier would be public on the web. Really the only difference between these two is that public on the web makes it searchable. Um, anyone with the link still makes it available. So uh, I'm going to save that as anyone with the link and then I'm done. Now when I go to publish my website, anyone will be able to see this file. Now I've embedded it here. I don't have to do it as an embed. I could just do it as a link to the file. Uh, one way to do that, I'm just gonna delete this tile. So the easiest way to create a link to a file, especially a, a Google Docs file, um, is simply to go into my Google Doc. When I go to sharing, we talked about the, the, the permissions, but I went right past. Right here is a link to that file. So uh, again, anyone with the link can view. I'm gonna copy link. You can see that link has been copied to my clipboard. When I come back over here to my website, I'm going to double click, insert a text field, and say, I'm just gonna call this math worksheet five. It's the same name as the, the file itself. I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to click on insert link, that little chain link that's here in the option and paste the link over to my file. I apply that. And now when anyone clicks on math worksheet five, that text, it's going to open up that Google doc file for them. Okay, so we've in inserted some text, we've got a picture, we've talked about Google documents. Um, really uh, two other things to talk about here. One is the theming. If you wanna change what this page looks like, um, you can do that through themes over here on the right hand side. You can select from different styles and you can see that on the fly as you go through here. Um, and you can change colors within each of those styles. It really just changes the header information. Uh, the other thing you can do is create pages to organize this a little bit more. So this is just the landing page for my website. Right now I have a single page website. There's nothing else underneath of it. But if this was, let's say, if, take for example, if this was my math website. I might want something for, you know, different components of what I'm going to do in class. And that could be a, a week to week. Um, it could be that I want a page for um, my, my background information. Maybe I want a page for my quizzes, things like that. Uh, maybe I want a contact info page. So I can create any of those kind of things right here through pages. So right here, I'm going to click on pages and plus down here at the bottom. And I'm going to create a contact me page first. And on a contact me page, um, you know, I would have like, here's my email address. Here's the building that I work at, those kind of things. So I could, again, double click over here, add that text. Uh, call me at, you know, 555-1212. I could do that kind of thing. Um, I can also create a, a page for, uh, maybe I've got a syllabus that I want to share for um, my parents that want to come view my site. So I could put that out here. I could create text. I could create links to other files. And then when I come over here to pages, you can see my pages now and I can click on home. And at the top, I now have a navigation bar. So any pages that I create are automatically going to be linked for me in the navigation up top. All right, so I've created a page. I've put some content out there. One last thing that I need to do in order for this to become publicly accessible for other people to see it, I have to publish the site. So if I click publish up here at the top, then I will make my site live. So it's going to ask me what I want my web address to be. Um, you're really only modifying the, the piece out here at the end. You're, you're stuck with the sites.google.com and our domain name. Um, but if I wanted this to be a demo math site, you know, I could name this however I want to, um, then I can change that name. And the other piece is who can view my website. If I want it only to be available inside of Fort Zumwalt School District, and that would be for all staff and all students, then I could say anyone at Fort Zumwalt has access to that. If I click on manage, um, I can change that. Once it's published is the part that I'm worried about. So I'm going to click change, and I want anyone on the web to be able to see my website once it's published. So I change it. Now you can see published. Anyone can find and view. I click done. 
And I am going to say, you know, I really don't need search engines to find my site. This is really up to you and it depends on the content that you're creating. In this case, it's kind of just a class site that I've created. So I'm gonna say, no, I don't need that. And I click publish and my site is now live. In order to get the address to my site, you saw it there when we were kind of modifying the address, but you can get that at any time by clicking on the chain link up here at the top where it, when you hover over it, it says copy published site link. So that copies it right here, and then you can go paste that into your email or into a, a document that you have. Um, the only other thing that I can think to show you right now uh, to keep this simple, if you've got a website and you want others to be able to collaborate in here and add content to it, maybe you're building a department page for your, for your school. Uh, you can do that by clicking on the person up here at the top to share with others, and then you select who it is that you want to invite. So I could invite Jane Zumwalt. Uh, to my website and then I have the option to edit or simply to view. I want her to be able to edit and I want her to get an email message saying that she now has access to it. When she receives that email, she will get a link to this page as well. So she doesn't have to go searching for how to find this website and she can get in, she can make changes, she can hit the publish button just like I can. And that really is all it takes to create a simple website inside of Google Sites. Have fun building.